Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a makeup tutorial. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in months and months and months. I've been so focused on vlogs and been really enjoying filming vlogs. But I just really miss sitting down and just doing a makeup tutorial. Today we're going to be doing my updated makeup routine. We've been there, done that. Not gonna lie, but it's updated and it's new products and it's new techniques that I love and um, they work really well with my skin so I thought I'd share them with you. I've got nothing on my skin besides moisturizer at the minute so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my favorite sunscreen of all time. This is the Beauty of Justin sunscreen with SPF 50. It feels amazing under makeup. It does not feel heavy at all. And it does not leave a white cast. I don't really do primer because uh, I feel like it's just too many products on my skin. I just do my skincare, moisturizer, and sunscreen. Anything else, I just feel like it's too excessive for my skin. I mean, it's already breaking out as it is. So I do not need to put too much into it. Right, I'm gonna move on to brows. As you can see, my brows are shaved, bleached, that I just they've just been going through it basically so I'm just gonna go right I've been trying some different techniques I'm gonna go with a pencil and a pen and I might be oh, shit. I know it might be a little bit excessive but it's only the only thing that works for my brows at the moment because they look like this I'm gonna take the NYX brow pencil in the shade top and I'm basically should I just zoom you in a little bit and I'm just basically going to kind of fake the shape a little bit, roughly. I do want kind of like a straighter brow. And brush it through. My brows can literally drive me insane. And then I'm gonna take the NYX Lift and Snatch pen in the shade Soft Brown. It looks like that. It's just like an eyeliner pen, but it kind of like mimics the hair. I'm just gonna try and do it on camera. And you just basically draw it in the direction of the hair. I'm gonna like fill it in a little bit. And then I do go in here as well, because I think it's waterproof. So just do kind of go over it just to set it. I don't even know if it does anything at this point. I know that my brows are a lot lighter than my hair. Um, one thing I hate on me is really dark eyebrows because I feel like they make my features look really like, I don't know, I just feel like I don't suit it. So I do like the lighter brow. I'm just gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna use Maybelline Fit Me. I'll just use whatever concealer I have at the moment. And I'm just gonna set it a little bit as well. So there's days that I just don't do anything on my eyes, I just use my winged eyeliner or I'll just use a little bit of eyeshadow as well, depending on the mood that I'm in usually. But today I am going to be doing a little bit of eyeshadow just to show you my favourites. This has been my go-to palette for the past few months, maybe almost a year. It's the Style Nanda palette in the shade Overtake. And it looks amazing. Um, this was my go-to, but I'm running out. So I'm usually like mixing that with that or them two, depending. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. And I am going to mix these two today. I'm just going to put it all over my eyelid. I don't really go up my crease that much. And like elongate it out a little bit. And then with a smaller brush, I'm going to go in with that shade right here. It is a little bit shimmery, but I do like that. And I am going to take it on my outer corner and create a little bit of depth. Blend it out. I feel like I don't really care anymore what my eyeshadow looks like. I don't know why. Just don't really care. So something like this. Oh. And then I do like to take that middle shade with my finger because it's a bit shimmery. I do like to warm it up. And 
just put it on my eyelid as a base because I will go on with another shimmer. So I do go in between two shimmers. This is the Bobbi Brown Moonstone Shimmer. And it is absolutely stunning. It goes with everything. And the shimmer of it, it's actually insane. Can you, can you see that? It's like a really finely milled glitter. Or I will go with the Adult House Eyeshadow. This is in the shade... I mean, I don't know the shade. I'm really sorry. That's all it says in the back. But it's like that champagne pink type of shade. And it's unreal. So we'll go in with that one today. We'll take a fluffy brush. Because I don't want it to be too precise. I want it everywhere. Did you see that? And I do go up as well. Like I just want it everywhere. I've been really into shimmers and glitters on my eyes. <sighs> I've just been obsessed. Right, so my eyeshadows are done. I'm gonna go in with MAC Black Track Eyeliner. It's just a black pen liner. I might need to do this off camera because I do get stressed. <laughs> and I'm gonna do like that type of wing. So I do just try and relax my eyes because I'm usually like this. Because <laughs> my, my eyes and my brows tend to go a bit more droopy and I don't like that. I just usually try to be like... So, I try to keep it neutral and then I just draw a straight line. I'm just trying to kind of like match my brow. Um, and then I connect it. I usually just go in here as well, create a little bit more of a cut eye moment. But today I'm going to do a little bit of glue there. So, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Like the past few months, it feels like my whole entire existence is depending on eyeliner. I will not leave the house, if I'm wearing makeup, I will not leave the house without winged eyeliner. I just, I, I don't feel I can do makeup without it ever again. And I mean it, like ever again. For my eyelashes, I don't really do um, false eyelashes just because just cannot be asked for them in on. So I'm just going to curl them. Um... If you don't curl your eyelashes, you need to. It's honestly, it makes the biggest difference. So I do one eye first, hold it in for a bit. And then I go with mascara straight away. This is L'Oreal Telescopic, one of my favorite mascaras ever. Do you see that? Do you see that? I did get a little bit on my eye, but it's okay. I am going to finish the eyes at the end. I'm going to leave them to this at the moment. I do have a little bit of tan at the moment. Um, fake tan, obviously, because I don't tan. Um, so I am going to use a darker foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. This foundation is a life changing it's dewy it's but it's not oily like i am a really oily person and this does not make me oily it does not feel greasy and it stays on my face longer than the matte foundations right i've got all sorts of foundations i've got mag Estee Lauder, nars you name it but this the seven pound foundation is life-changing Try it if you haven't. So mine is in the shade Golden Beige. So I'm just going to kind of like spread it everywhere. And I'm going to blend it out with a brush because I feel like it gives more coverage. I do need to blend it a little bit down my neck because sometimes when my tan is like three days old. The foundation gets a little bit dark for me. But can you see that? Of course you can still see my texture because that is texture, you cannot hide it. But it even out my skin tone. I just love this foundation, honestly. And it does not separate throughout the day, which for me, if it separates throughout the day, it's a deal breaker, no matter how good the coverage is. Right, so foundation is on. I am going to go back in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. 
that's the one that i use when i'm not tan as well but right now just highlights really nicely because it's very light so this is the places i usually put my concealer on then i will take matte fix plus i do not really recommend this as a setting spray i recommend it as a fixing spray which it will melt foundation and powder into the skin without it looking too cakey so before i blend my concealer i am gonna spray a little bit of the fix plus And with my sponge, I'm just gonna blend it out. It blends amazing with this technique. Although my sponge is dry, which shouldn't be, but I just cannot be asked to go in with it. Before I go in with any powder, I am gonna finish with my cream products. I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid blush. This is the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Happy. It's been my favorite for a few months now. I'm only gonna use a tiny bit because this is the most pigmented product you will ever find and with a little brush i'm just gonna blend it out i usually do a little bit more if i am just gonna be wearing this specific blush but today because i am gonna mix a few others i'm just gonna do one dot and i do like to bring it under my eyes as well then i am gonna go in with my refi blush in the shade rose i love this blush it's my favorite cream blush mine looks absolutely destroyed it's because i use it so much um jess hun if you're watching this video please send me a new blush because mine is i'm gonna take an angle brush and i am just gonna go on the highest points It looks crazy on camera, I know, but I love blush. Look at this glow. Mm. Who doesn't love a bit of blush? A bit. I am going to set my under eye, so I'm going to use my She Glam powder. This is the Insta Ready one, and I'm going to use a translucent version of this. Just for my under eyes, with a, bit of a, with a little powder puff. And on my smile lines and my chin this is half the f***ing box of powder Actually, really mad right now. Cut the cameras. I'm making it one. That top was straight out of the wash. Like I wore it for the first time. Now it's okay. You can't see it. And now, after a little mini break, I'm gonna set the rest of my face with a Charlotte Tilbury powder. I really like this powder, it's kind of lightweight, I don't go too crazy with it, but it's very smoothing, which I like. Next, I am going to contour my nails, I'm going to use this Amisha Cut On Contour in the shade Baked Bagel. I love this little thing, it's amazing. With a small brush. Right, I just did that off camera, I'm baking my nose right now. I'm just gonna leave it chill out there for a little bit. I'm gonna finish my eyes now. I'm gonna go with a bit of a black eyeliner on my waterline. I'm gonna use MAC Color Excess Liner in Glider Dye. It's just a black one, but it's waterproof. And I am just gonna go. Oh, what did I do? Just on the outer bit here, just to kind of like extend the outer part of my eye make it a little bit more i never do mascara on my lower lashes or eyeshadow anymore i feel like it really brings my eyes down and i do not want that but what i am gonna do is a little bit of liquid glitter on my waterline right here this is from style nanda in the shade petal you know just like a little moment to appreciate it looks like this it's gorgeous and it has a little teeny tiny brush so you can like go directly under your lash. Yes. 
I don't always do this step. It's just when I'm feeling a little bit extra. I'm going to wipe this now. Go over with a bit of blush again. And I will do a bit of highlighter as well. I'm going to take Model Zone in the shade Peach Pearl 02. It's going to look like a really cute pink highlighter. So I'm just going to do it just a little bit on the highest point of my cheek. And kind of like a lot on my nose. Right, lip combos. I've had so many new favorites the past few months. I'm gonna use my NYX Natural Lip Pencil. It's been my favorite. I am filling in as well. I love that lip pencil. Honestly, it goes with everything. I am gonna use my favorite lip gloss. This is the MAC Power Gloss Plumping Gloss in the shade pout of your leg this honestly look at it it's got the prettiest shimmer to it but when it goes on it's not that like shimmer you cannot feel the shimmer so it looks so nice and sheer but it feels so comfortable that is gorgeous and look at the shine and that is it. Um, a few other of my favorite lip combos are Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Liner with either MAC Yash Lipstick or MAC Honey Love. I do alternate between these two. Honey Love is a little bit more pink than Yash. Or Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk with NARS Lip Balm in the shade Bang Bang on top, which is kind of like a corally lip balm, but it obviously is not as pigmented. Um, or the Cylon Plumping Lips in the shade Rosy, which is gonna like that type of nudey shade. So these are my top favorite lip combos at the minute. That is the makeup look done. Ah, I'm so happy how it turned out. This is like my favorite comfort go-to makeup combination. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it. I will link all the products down below for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Subscribe, like the video, and also turn the notifications on. I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye!